the right-hander Luke Weaver. Luke unbeaten away from Chase Field this year. His last three road starts win. He swings it to one down the third baseline. Weaver's got to be quick, and he throws the first, and he got him on a dandy play at first base. What a play by Weaver. I didn't think there was a chance at all he'd be able to get him. He threw off balance. No score here yet. Escobar, who fly to center his first time up. It's this one up there, and there it goes! Eduardo Escobar! Clank off the Western Metal Supply Company building, and it's 1-0 defense. His 11th of the season. So Zach Greinke, 2,499 strikeouts in his big league career on the verge of 2,500. Struck him out, and there's 2,500 career strikeouts for Zach Greinke. 37th all-time to record 2,500 strikeouts in his big league career. So two outs here, and here's John Ryan Murphy. Murphy gets into one high in the air, deep left field. John Ryan Murphy, it's gone. Blasted that ball, and it was just enough to get out of here to left field. Just a center cut fastball from Strom. He knew it right away. The only chance he had was if that wind knocked it down, but John Ryan Murphy drives it through that strong wind, just out of the reach of Hunter Renfro in left. Third base, backhanded by Escobar. Long throw, oh, what a play! Man. Eduardo Escobar. If you love baseball, you're going to love this play. What a throw. Smile from <laughs> Zach Reinke even. Unbelievable play by Escobar. We should be used to this by now. So stretch out to make that backhanded play as momentum carries him into foul territory. And now here's Escobar. Escobar hits one down the line. Myers chases it. He won't get there. That's a fair ball. They're going to wave Marte with a first D-back run. RBI double for Eduardo Escobar, and it's 5-1. to D-backs will do that in a couple of weeks. There goes Machado, a ball to throw down by Kelly's a good one, and Machado is out easily. That's two caught stealing today. That'll end the inning. Still nobody out in the ninth. Just pokes that one over the head of the third baseman, France. This will get Marte home again. Second RBI for Escobar. And don't go anywhere. It's 5-2. Well, tomorrow Vargas hits one deep to left field. That ball is gone. El tomorrow Vargas. And the Diamondbacks strike first in San Francisco. Vargas gets him kick started in the first. Arte breaks for second base. This is trying to get down. It lands in front of Pilar. Kelly's home. Marte's at third. And it's 3 2 D backs. Back to back, two out RBI hits for the Diamondbacks. Bases are loaded. Two men are out. Robbie now 0 for 17 this year with 10 strikeouts. Is a ground ball up the middle. Center field base hit. It'll score one. Here comes the other run. He'll score. And Robbie Ray gets his first hit of the season to knock in two. And the Diamondbacks have a 5 to 2 lead. The Castro with a base hit into left. Jones scores. They wave Walker. Tim LaCastro, a two-run single, and it's 8-2. to two. Jones drives one deep to center field. Duggars at the wall. That's gone. Adam Jones, four for four. And what has gotten into these Diamondbacks? It's 11-2. to two. Runners on the move. Escobar hits a fly ball. Deep right field. It's gone. Eduardo Escobar, it bounces into McCovey Cove. And the Diamondbacks lead 14 to 2. There's some Fogo power for you. 14 runs on 17 hits. Up amongst the Seagulls and deep to left field. And that ball is gone. Cattell Marte, 18 runs. Marte let off the ball game with the trouble, scored one of the two runs the D-backs played it in that first inning. There's a drive to left, and that one is gone, a home run. Number 11, Cattell Marte, a home run last night in the seventh, and a solo shot here today leads off the third, bank at 3-1 D-backs. Vargas lined a single to right, he gathers his lead, and a ground ball, that's fair, down the left field line toward the corner, extra bases, Vargas turns second, they're going to send Vargas home. Here comes a throw to the plate. He is safe, and down to third base goes Escobar. And it's 4-1 Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks with another two spot here. Runner at third, still nobody out. And a shot to right. Pilar is back and has it, tagging Escobar. And he races home with the third run of the inning, and it's 5-1 Diamondbacks. First pitch rocketed into the left. Jones comes in to score. 
And Cronin replaces him at second base. His first big league hit, his second run batted into the ball game. Chris Krohn, his dad, who's the manager up at Reno, there to see his kid get a hit. So the Diamondbacks have two on, nobody out. And Tim LaCastro at the plate, he's doubled, walked, scored, and made a terrific catch on a sliding grab in foul territory in left field. LaCastro dunks it into right center. Kevin Krohn coming around third. He will score. Make it eight to one Diamondbacks. What a series for Tim LaCastro. And four Diamondbacks, ninth inning, two outs. The pitch from Holland. And he got him swinging, and this one's over. And the Diamondbacks make it two straight. Second straight day. They've now scored 28 runs on 34 hits in two ball games against Giants pitching. To tell Marte, what a series. 270 now with 11 home runs. Hitting for another one right here. Hits it deep to right center field. And that ball is Whoa. gone. Oh, my. Cattell Marte, three games in San Francisco, three home runs. And the Diamondbacks strike first. One out, here's Luke Weaver. Weaver gets the bunt down. Ahmed has to stay put. Now here he comes. The throw from Belt. And Ahmed sneaks in there. Fly ball, deep right field. Adam Jones on the track. He's got it. And the Diamondbacks sweep three in San Francisco. They take the finale six to two. And they tie a franchise record scoring 34 runs in a three game series.